Hi guys, we're back. <laughs> we're here with our usual uh, dog walking, head clearing uh, space. And I just wanted to make a quick video today around leadership because I spent some time over the weekend with a company called Dalston Partners, which is a recruitment company. And they're a relatively small outfit with, I don't know, 11 or 12 people, I believe. And they're absolutely killing it when it comes to figures and turnover, multi, multi, multi million pound. So, I had to think about it on the way back and the team are very, very connected. The team are very high performing and they all just get on really well. It's like a mini family. So I had to think, thinking what are the key things that are making this business work so efficiently? And I believe it's actually uh, cascades down from the leadership team. So the company was actually set up by a guy called Vax. He, um, he obviously had a clear idea of what the personalities were going to be like to make this business work and he individually recruited everybody one by one. But I think there's three essential components that make a good leader that I think he absolutely has got it down to a T. So number one is trust. When you see a guy who basically, you can trust that they're not slagging off one person to the rest of the team, you can trust what they mean, you can trust what they say, you can trust so many things about them, it makes such a difference when you're working with that person and, and if you don't have trust, you lose basically the backbone of everything. I think another essential part is safety. Now I've used safety before and a lot of people sometimes, should I say not a lot of people, but sometimes people misunderstand that to mean that uh, it's connected to a physical fight or something and it's absolutely not. Safety to me means that when you're working in an environment where you basically, uh, you feel able to say anything without the fear of shame or without the fear of ridicule or without the fear of punishment, all the things that make you hold back, got hair in my face, all the things that make you hold back from saying what you really want to say is basically um, safety. And if you're not saying the things that you want to say, it's because you're not in a safe environment. And I think Vax has absolutely got that nailed as well because people are talking to him very, very openly, but also um, in a way that they're not scared of his reaction. And it makes a fundamental difference. And you couple that with the trust, you've absolutely got the foundation to a really good working relationship. Now, I think the key thing that makes all the difference on top of that is appreciation. It was so evident from working with these guys that every single one of them felt so appreciated. The way he rewards his team, the way he compliments them, the way that he's straight talking with them, but also very fair. People feel appreciated, they trust him, and they feel safe around him. So fundamentally, if you can bring those things as a leader into a business, you are absolutely going to nail it when it comes to leadership. So if you are a manager, it's worth just looking at your management style and just asking yourself honestly, do I implement these particular key characteristics into my into my job? And if you do, then fantastic. I'm sure there are other great managers out there. And if you don't, then it's something to think about and how it, how it can maybe benefit you in terms of um, the, your day-to-day -day job. I hope that was helpful. Uh, Give you a quick like. If you liked it, please share it if you think it will help others and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.